What's up, gang? If you guys are looking for a quick 30 minute full body burnout workout just using some dumbbells, you've come to the right place. Now, don't be alarmed. If you do not have any dumbbells, do not worry about it. You can use two water bottles, two water jugs, wherever your level of fitness is. I'm gonna lead you guys through a nice and easy warm up. Okay, I'm gonna explain how the workout's gonna go and we're gonna finish off with a nice cool down stretch. So if you haven't already, get your water, get your dumbbells, and let's get this workout started. So we're gonna start out nice with a warm up. You're gonna turn your palms up towards the ceiling, extend those arms all the way out and down. Now is a good time to get on a good breathing technique. Breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. We're just slowly warming up that upper body, all right? Make sure that you're not tensing up your shoulders. Shoulders are far away from your ears, keeping your core nice and tight. We're gonna continue on these arm twists for about five, four, three, two, one. Hold it right there. We're gonna open up those legs nice and wide. You're gonna hinge your hips all the way back. Come down for that squat. Press up off those heels. Just slowly getting that upper and that lower body nice and warmed up. We have a pretty good workout today. I am pretty excited to do it because we're gonna hit every area of the body. We're gonna get some shoulder work, some tricep work, some bicep work, some back work, core work, you know, quad, glutes. We're gonna be working out everything. So continue on these squats for about 10 more seconds. Make sure that you're sitting all the way back, putting all that weight on the heels of your feet, keeping your knees behind your toes. We got five, four, three, two, and hold it right there. We're gonna open up that chest nice and wide. You're gonna take that right arm, cross it over your chest, hold it tight with the left arm. You're gonna look over that right shoulder for five, four, three, two and open up that chest nice and wide we're going to take that left arm cross it over your chest you're going to cuff it now with that right arm looking over that left shoulder hold it out really pulling that arm towards your chest for five four three two hold it right there all right you're going to start with this right leg you're going to open up that hip flexor drop for a squat open up that hip flexor and drop for a squat just getting those hips Nice and warmed up for some lower body movements that we have coming in today's workout. All right, this is super beginner friendly, which I probably should have stated that in the beginning of the video. All right, but it's gonna be in the caption. So just make sure that you're just really just taking your time here and breathing it out. We're gonna continue on this warm up stretch for five, four, three, two, and hold it right there. Starting with the right leg, you're gonna stand nice and tall, feet hip shoulder width apart. We're gonna come back for that reverse lunge into a knee raise, exhale at the top. Come down for that lunge, press up off that front heel. We're gonna do that three more times. Come down for three, drag that knee up, squeezing that core, come down for two, drag that knee up. Last time on the right, come down for one and squeeze it up at the top. We're gonna do the same exact thing now on the left side, all right? Come back for that reverse lunge. Squeeze it up at the top. Come down. Remember to press up off of that front heel. Good job, three more. Three, come down for that reverse lunge. Two, come down for that reverse lunge. And one, good job. We're gonna start out with some nice little jumping jacks just to get that heart rate up. All right, you wanna stay nice and light whew, on the balls of your feet. Bring your hands all the way up overhead. Now, if you're at home and you need a modification, you're not able to jump, tap it out to the side. Bring those arms all the way above your head. All right, there's always a modification for any type of movement that you're trying to do. All right, continue on those jumping jacks. Four, five, four, three, two, hold it right there. Good job. You're gonna extend those arms in front. All right, you're gonna pull down. Light bend to the knee, extend those arms. Use that back to really squeeze at the top. Keep those elbows out. Keep that chest up and keep that core nice and tight. You got 10 more seconds. Eight, six, Five, four, 
three, two, and hold it right there. You're gonna place your hands directly on the floor. One foot back at a time. We're gonna hold that plank. Make sure your hands are directly underneath your chest. Back is straight, butt is down. Breathe it out for five, four, three, two, and come down for that push up. We got five, down, four, down, three, down, two, down, one, down. Woo! All right, guys, warm up is done. We have four blocks, two exercises in each block, 30 seconds of work on each with a 10 second rest. Grab those dumbbells. We're gonna start with a bicep curl, turn, press, press. All right, three, two, let's go. Bicep curl, turn, press, lock those elbows at the top, dropping your chin. Full bicep curl, turn, press, push that head through. Make sure that those dumbbells come all the way above your head. You have less than 10 seconds. Woo! Getting that upper body nice and warmed up. Three, two, and rest. You're gonna take those dumbbells. All right, you're gonna turn your toes out. Bring your dumbbells in front of the body. Come down, Check chest is up. Glutes are parallel to the floor. Let's go. Keep your eye level to the floor. Keeping that neck neutral with your spine. Make sure you're pushing all that weight on the heels of your feet. Make sure that you're inhaling down, exhaling at the top. We have a little less than 15 seconds. Keep that core nice and tight. All right, less than 10 seconds here. Whew. Make sure you're breathing, take your time. Three, two, and rest. We're gonna go back to that bicep curl, single overhead press. You ready? Three, two, let's do this. Ham, uh, back to our bicep curl, turn, overhead, overhead, in, release. Bicep curl, turn, overhead, overhead, keep those elbows in front, keep that core tight, keep that back nice and strong. Now, you wanna make sure you're pressing your head through here to make sure that you're not keeping your head back or jerking it back for whatever reason. Three, two, and rest. Awesome job, gang. Let's finish off that second round nice and strong. All right, back to those sumo dumbbell squats. Three, two, one, let's go. Drop it down, Whew, squeeze it up at the top. Keep that core nice and tight, all right? Make sure you're pressing up off those heels. All of that weight should be on the heels of your feet, all right? You don't wanna push your body forward, you wanna push it all the way back. We have less than 10 seconds here. Whew, I'm already starting to sweat. I hope you're starting to feel that burn. We got three, two, and rest. Awesome job, guys. One more round of this, and then we have an ab cardio, which I'll show you very quickly after those sumo squats. Three, two, let's go. Bicep curl, turn, press, Press, lock those elbows at the top. All right, come in for that bicep curl. Try not to swing your dumbbells when you're releasing them all the way down. Control it with the core. All right, and also just make sure that you're breathing here. We should already know what we're doing now that we're on the third round, right? Let's go, you got five, four, three, two, and rest. Awesome job, gang. Okay. Let's finish off this first round nice and strong. If you're able to at home, get a little bit deeper in your squat. Three, two, let's burn it out. Whew. Remember, inhale down, exhale at the top. A lot of people don't realize that breathing has a lot to do with your energy and the way that your workouts go. If your breathing is off, all right, or if it's really, really bad, you tend to get lightheaded, you tend to get winded a little bit faster. All right, we got five seconds here. Three, two, and drop those dumbbells. We're gonna come down to that plank position. All right, you're gonna do shoulder, shoulder, side tap. Three, two, let's go. Shoulder, shoulder, side tap, plank. Shoulder, shoulder, side tap, 
click. Shoulder, shoulder, side tap, click. Make sure that your core is nice and tight. Butt is down, back is nice and straight. Keep your neck neutral with your spine. Widen out your feet if you have to, because you want to make sure you are not turning those hips. Let's go, five seconds, you're gonna get some water. Three, two, and rest. Woo! Awesome job, guys. You finished the first block. We have three more, okay? Get some water, breathe it out. We have one minute until the second block. Now, excuse me while I got some water. I know that I kind of just jumped into that first block. Super apologize for that. So let me take the time to show you guys the next movements that we have. Each block, we have one upper body followed by a lower body, okay? So the next one that you guys are going to do, we're gonna do what's called a bent over row to a hammer curl. Feet or hips shoulders apart, dumbbells are on the outside of your body. Push your hips all the way back till your dumbbells come directly below your knees. Keep those elbows in, row, down, stand tall, bring the dumbbells in front of your shoulder, all right? So, bent over row, stand tall, hammer curl, okay? Second exercise that we have, dumbbells to the side. We're gonna take one leg back, pulse, pulse, and switch. You're ready? Three, two, let's go. Starting with that upper body, hinge all the way back. Row, squeeze that back, stand tall, hammer curl. Now with these movements, there's no reason, all right, to go fast. Take your time. Make sure that you're really working the muscle groups that we are working here, all right? Working that back, those biceps, all right? A little bit of your core, um, hamstrings and glutes by coming in that bent over row and rest. Awesome job. Take your dumbbells, okay? Start with one leg. Come into that reverse lunge, two pulses. Let's go. Back, one, two, press up off that front heel, reverse. Back, one, two, press up off that front heel. All right, make sure that your front knee is behind your toes. All right, that core is nice and tight. Shoulders are down and back, try not to hunch over. All right, we have less than 10 seconds. Feel that burn in your quads and your glutes. Three, two, and rest. Awesome job, game. We're gonna go back to that upper body, that bent over row to hammer curl. Let's get ready. Three, two, let's do this. Hinge back, row, up, hammer curl. All right, if you're a little bit more advanced at home, you can pick up the pace here just a little bit, but we're not doing any hit movements, we're not doing any cardio, all right? This is strength training and toning. So you really wanna just take your time here and breathe, okay? Keep it pushing. We got five, four, three, two, and rest. Awesome job. Now we're gonna go back to that reverse lunge to two pulses, okay? Let's get this ready in three, two, woo! Let's do this. Back, one, Two, press up off that front heel, all right? This one, you can pick up the pace a little bit, if you can, all right? If you're new to working out, or you're new to maybe doing some of these movements, take your time. Form is everything, all right? There's no reason to speed it up, because if your form is off, you're gonna be prone to injury. So just take your time, and really get used to the movements, and like I said, really feel the muscle groups that we're working. And rest. I'm already feeling it, I hope you guys are. Let's finish this block off nice and strong. Three, two, let's do it. Hinge, row, stand tall, hammer curl, let's go. Whew, for my more advanced friends at home, all right? Pick up the pace here a little bit, all right? Or grab heavier set of dumbbells. I meant to actually grab the 12s for this set here. Kind of forgot that little part there. But it's all good. We got less than eight seconds. I hope you're pushing yourselves at home and just keep moving. Three, two, and rest. Awesome job, guys. Let's finish off this last round nice and strong. Put in that work with that lower body. In three, two, let's blow this out. One, two, 
press up off that heel. One, two, press up off that heel. Let's go. Whew. If you're feeling that burn, don't stop. All right, don't stop, don't turn it off. You have to push yourself through this. That's where you get your gains, by pushing through the pain, pushing through as to what is maybe a little bit difficult for you. All right, you got three, two, and rest. Throw down those dumbbells. We have another cardio finisher. You're gonna come into that plank position. We're gonna jack out those feet for plank jacks. Three, two, one, let's go. If you can't do plank jacks, one leg at a time is perfectly fine, all right? Let's go. We're finishing off this second block nice and strong here, all right? Strong arms, strong back, strong core, strong legs. Let's go. We got 10 seconds. Woo! I'm feeling that burn. Trust me, I am right there with you. All right, we got three, two, and woo! Awesome, come on. Rest it out, breathe it out, okay? Woo! We got one minute, get some water before we get into that third block. I hope y'all are feeling it the way I am. Because a girl, whoo, I'm hot, okay? All right, guys, so even though I'm an instructor, I'm a trainer, it's not easy. A lot of people are like, oh, it's probably so easy for you. Whoo, child, please. It is not always easy, even using light dumbbells, all right? It is not always easy, okay? So next one you guys are gonna do, starting with that upper body. We got 25 seconds, so get ready. Palms are in front. We're gonna turn it out for what's called an around the world. Tap those dumbbells up at the top, release it down. That's the first one. Second one, we got lower body curtsy lunge. Keep those hips nice and square. Curtsy, center, curtsy, center. All right, get ready. We got three, two, whoo! Let's get right into that around the world. So palms are in the center, turn it out, tap it up, whoo! Right down, this is a shoulder burner. It is. <sighs> really just take your time here, all right? I know this one is tough. When I've done this in my classes and with clients, they're not happy about it, all right? But it's a good upper body burn. And rest, awesome job, guys. We're gonna get into those curtsy lunges. If you wanna start picking up that weight on the dumbbells, please go ahead and do so. Three. Two, let's do this. Keep those hips square. Back for that curtsy, center. Back for that curtsy, center. Keep that core tight. Keep that chest nice and upright. And all that weight is on the heels of your feet, all right? Woo! Woo, make sure you're just breathing. I'm burning. If I am burning, I hope you guys are feeling that full body burn. Three, two and rest awesome job let's get right into that second round with that around the world you ready if you're not let's do it three two let's go palms in front exhale at the top inhale down exhale at the top inhale down exhale at the top keep that core tight all right, keep that back nice and strong. We got 10 seconds. Whoo, I am burning. We got three, two, woo. Nice job, guys. You're not done. I'm just clapping just to help you guys get through this. I need to help myself get through it. Let's get ready, second round of those curtsy lunges and go. Whoo, keep those hips squared. All right, keep your chest and core parallel to the front. A lot of times when people do this exercise, they tend to turn their body, not realizing that they're doing it a million percent wrong. So you really wanna just focus on working those glutes, those quads and those hammies, all right? Five, three, two, and rest. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope, You've made it to the last round of the third block. Back to those around the world. Three, two, let's do this. Whoo, 
Inhale down. Exhale up. Inhale down. Exhale up. Let's do this. You got less than 20 seconds. Guys, it's the last time you're doing this movement. All right? Some of you really may be feeling that burn at home. Some of you may be thinking it's a little too easy. All right? Wherever you're at, it doesn't matter. Just push through this and finish this off strong. We're more than halfway through. And rest. Awesome job, guys. Whew, let's finish off those curtsy lunges because then you got another ab cardio. Get ready. Three, two, let's do this. Curtsy, center. Curtsy, center. Breathe. Curtsy, center. Curtsy, center. Whoo! Keep that core nice and tight. And just make sure you're breathing. Just move. All right? Just focus on your breathing. Ooh, lost my little balance there. All right, keep pushing. We got five, four, three, two. Whoo! And breathe it out. We're gonna go back to that plank. Finishing off this third block. All right, touching your hand to opposite knee. All right, three, two, let's go. Strong plank, butt is down, hips are up, core is tight. Make sure that your hands are directly underneath that chest. All right, whoo, burn this out guys. We're already 80% through this workout. You got less than 10 seconds. Woo! Push it through. We got five, four, three, two, and rest. Woo! Guys, if you are still here, all right, you have made it to the last and final block. All right? Give yourself a round of applause, okay? Get some water, and I'm going to show you guys the last two exercises we're going to finish off with and then we're gonna do a cool down stretch. Whew. I am really feeling that burn. Like, this is not even a lot. This sweat is real. This heavy breathing is real. All right, so first exercise we're going to do, starting with that upper body, you're gonna hinge your hips all the way back. Dumbbells are in front of the body, directly underneath your chest. You're gonna do a single reverse flop using that upper back, open, down, open, down. Keep your neck neutral with your spine. Second exercise we have, Romanian deadlift. Feet hips shoulders apart. Keep your dumbbells close to the body. Mid shin level, press up off your heels. All right, get ready. Three, two, let's do it. Single reverse fly. Fly, center. Fly, center. Both movements, guys, are really just made for you to really just take your time, keeping that core and that form nice and strong. Keep that back straight, keep your neck neutral with your spine. We got eight, th less than 10 seconds. Whew, five, three, two, and rest. Great job, gang. Let's get ready for those Romanian deadlifts in five, four, three, Two, let's work those booties. Hinge all the way back. Mid shin level, press up off your heels. Squeeze your glutes up at the top. Keep that eye level down. All right, when you squeeze at the top, bring that core in, squeezing your glutes at the same time. Whoo, let's go. Hinge, squeeze, 12 seconds, gang. Let's burn it out, let's finish off this full body workout nice and strong. We got five, three, two, and rest, great job, gang. Woo, back to those single reverse flies. We're almost there, don't give up on me just yet. Don't give up on me just yet, let's go. Three, two, one, let's work. Fly, center. Fly, center, burn it out. All right, again, core is tight, back is straight. Dumbbells are directly underneath your chest. Use that back to open up on that reverse fly. We got 10 seconds. Take your time, eight seconds. Just breathe, five, three, two, and rest. Woo! Lord have mercy, we are almost done. Back to those Romanian deadlifts. Three, two, one, let's do it. Hinge, 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 hinge. 
Mid-shin level. Whew, squeeze it at the top. Whew, this is actually one of my favorite exercises. How, I do deadlifts probably almost every day. I don't lift heavy because I work out at home. And as of right now, I don't have a barbell and some plates. Hopefully that'll change sometime in the near future when I'm not that poor. <laughs> Keep going, we got three, two, and rest. Can you feed it to the last round? Last round, guys, let's do this. Single reverse flies. Three, two, let's go. Fly, center, fly, center. Let's work up, center, up, center. 20 seconds, just breathe. Finish this off nice and strong, all right? We got this. I'm right there with you, gang. We got 10, eight, six, five, three, two, and rest. Woo! Let's do these Romanian deadlifts. You ready? Because I'm ready. Three, two, one. Let's go. Hinge, 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 hinge. And squeeze. Woo! Feel that burn, guys. Um, remember, I'm literally doing everything with you. Everything. I did not just stop. I'm not just talking to you and coaching you, all right? I'm doing every movement with you so you can really look at my form and making sure that you're doing this the right way. All right, burn it through. We got three, two, and rest. Okay. Guys, last and final ab cardio, oblique mountain climbers. Plank position, opposite knee, opposite elbow. Let's go. If you can't do this, Right here is fine. All you have to do is just slow it down. All right, if you're more advanced at home, the goal is to get nice and wide in those turns. We got 15 seconds. All right, everybody else, take your time. We got 10, keep working. Seven, six, five, three, two, woo! Phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal job. Woo. Let's go into a nice cool down stretch. All right, we're gonna bring those arms up. Woo. Right to center. You're gonna take that right arm, bend it behind your head. Place that left hand on top of that right elbow. Press that right elbow as far down as you can, really feeling that tricep stretch. And just breathe. Catch your breath here. Ooh, awesome job. If you made it all the way through and you're still here, thank you. Thank you so, so much. Extend those arms all the way up. Now take that left hand, bend it behind your head. Right hand on top of that left elbow. Press the left elbow as far as you can down. Hold that stretch. Ooh, make sure you're just keeping that core nice and tight. And just breathe it out. You guys did such an awesome job. And again, thank you for those of you who ever joined me. I hope you felt an awesome burnout and you're sweating the way I am because I'm literally sweating like for real, for real. Ooh, extend those arms up back to ceiling. Keep that left arm up. You're going to take that right hand, bring it behind your body. Take that right foot up. Hold that stretch. When you have that heel up, if you can't do this, hold on to a wall. We're not doing this for balance. We're doing it for that quad stretch. All right. You want to push your hips. In, push your hips forward, feeling that quad stretch, hold it out, four, three, two, drop that right foot behind, extend that left foot up, take that left hand, place it behind that left toe, hold that stretch. Whoo, I am dripping. I hope you guys feel absolutely amazing and slowly come back up. Hands back up to center, right hand up, take that left hand behind. Same sequence here, now on the left side. Same thing if you can't hold out the balance. Hold on to a wall, chair, whatever you can to do this stretch. Push your hips forward, keep those thighs together, feel that quad stretch. And just breathe for a moment for five, four, three, 
two, slowly drop that left leg back, extend that right foot up, right hand behind that right toe, and hold that stretch. Ooh, breathe it out, breathe it out. Ooh, slowly come up, open up those feet. You're gonna inhale down, exhale up, inhale down, exhale up. Last time, inhale down, exhale up, and you guys are done. Awesome job, gang. If you like this, let me know. Have a beautiful and blessed day.